Welcome to the show, folks. Today, we're diving deep into the world of Amanita muscaria, a mushroom that's been used for centuries in spiritual and cultural practices. Now, it's having a bit of a resurgence, especially with all these new products hitting the market. Vapes, gummies, tinctures, you name it. It's wild, man. We're going to break down each of these products, talk about how they work, what benefits they might offer, and most importantly, the risks involved. Because let's be real that there's not a ton of research on this stuff yet, and that it's important to be cautious. We'll also get into the legal landscape, which is uh, complicated to say the least. This is powerful stuff, and it's crucial to understand the potential dangers and legal ramifications before you even think about trying it. So buckle up, folks. It's going to be a wild ride. First up, we've got a money to vapes. These things are becoming quite popular these days. People love them because they offer a faster onset of effects compared to eating dried mushrooms or brewing tea. You're essentially bypassing the digestive system entirely, delivering the active compounds straight to your bloodstream. The idea is that you get a more immediate, intense experience and potentially more control over your dosage. While research is still ongoing, the potential for new discoveries is exciting. There's a lot of curiosity and interest in this area. The vape market is expanding rapidly, offering a variety of options. It's important to choose products from reputable sources to ensure quality. Many companies are dedicated to producing high quality vapes. They source their mushrooms carefully to maintain consistency, and they ensure the vape juice is free from harmful additives. With growing awareness, regulation and oversight are improving. Vaping Amanita offers a unique and enjoyable experience. It's a convenient option that many find satisfying, with the potential for a controlled and pleasant experience. Next up we've got Amanita Gummies. These are fascinating because they offer a familiar and discreet way to enjoy this unique mushroom. They're pre-dosed and come in various flavors, making the experience enjoyable, especially if you're not a fan of the earthy taste of the mushrooms themselves. Just like with the vapes, it's important to choose your gummies wisely. Make sure you're buying from a reputable source to ensure you're getting quality gummies. It's not just about the dosage, it's about the quality of the mushrooms and the care taken in making the gummies. Another fun fact about gummies is that they have a delayed onset of effects. Since they go through your digestive system, it can take anywhere from 30 minutes to a couple of hours to feel the effects. This can be an exciting wait, but remember to be patient and enjoy the process. So while gummies are a fun and convenient option, it's always good to enjoy them responsibly. Now let's talk about Amanita tinctures. Tinctures have been used for centuries to extract the beneficial compounds from plants and mushrooms. They involve soaking the mushrooms in alcohol for an extended period to extract the active ingredients. The result is a concentrated liquid that you can take orally, usually by placing a few drops under your tongue or mixing it with a beverage. One of the main advantages of tinctures is that they offer a relatively fast absorption rate. Because the alcohol acts as a solvent, it helps your body absorb the active compounds more quickly than eating dried mushrooms or even gummies. Tinctures also allow for precise dosing, which is crucial when you're dealing with powerful substances like Amanita muscaria. But here's the exciting part. Not all tinctures are created equal. The potency can vary depending on the quality of the mushrooms, the type of alcohol used, and the extraction process itself. And of course, there's the consideration of alcohol content. If you're sensitive to alcohol or prefer to avoid it, there are always alternative options available. Plus, with proper use, tinctures can be a highly effective way to enjoy the benefits of Amanita muscaria. It's all about finding the right balance, which can lead to a rewarding and beneficial experience. Let's explore the legal landscape of Amanita muscaria. It's a bit intricate, but manageable. In many parts of the world, including the United States, Amanita muscaria is legal to possess and sell. However, there are exceptions. For instance, Louisiana specifically prohibits the use of Amanita muscaria for human consumption. So, it's important to be aware of the laws in your specific location. Even where it's legal, the current lack of regulation presents an opportunity for improvement. You can buy Amanita products online and in some stores, and this accessibility is promising. The next step is ensuring quality and purity through proper testing. With increased awareness, 
more testing can be implemented. This will help prevent the sale of contaminated or mislabeled products. Better oversight will empower consumers to make informed decisions about what they're putting into their bodies. The future looks bright as we navigate this evolving landscape. So you're excited to explore the world of Amanita muscaria? I understand. It's a captivating mushroom with a rich and fascinating history, but it's important to approach it with respect and mindfulness. Here are a few tips for safe and enjoyable use. First and foremost, do your research. Don't just rely on what you see online or hear from your friends. Read up on the potential benefits and risks and understand how Amanita muscaria affects the body and mind. This knowledge is empowering. Second, start low and go slow. Ease into it rather than diving in with a large dose. Start with a small amount to see how your body reacts and gradually increase the dosage over time if needed. Remember, everyone's unique. What works for one person might not work for another. Third, buy from reputable sources. This is crucial. With so many companies emerging, it's essential to do your due diligence. Look for companies that are transparent about their sourcing and extraction methods and that provide third-party lab testing to verify the quality and purity of their products. Fourth, avoid mixing Amanita muscaria with alcohol or other drugs. This can lead to unpredictable interactions. Amanita muscaria can interact with other substances in unpredictable and potentially dangerous ways. So it's best to err on the side of caution and avoid mixing it with anything else. And finally, know your local laws. As we discussed earlier, the legal status of Amanita muscaria varies from place to place. Make sure you're aware of the laws in your area before you buy or consume any Amanita products. That's it for today, folks. We've explored a fascinating world from the different types of Amanita muscaria products to the legal landscape and safety considerations. Remember, this is a unique and powerful substance, and it's important to approach it with respect. If you're thinking about trying Amanita muscaria, do your research, consult with your doctor, and start with a small, mindful dose. The key is to be safe and responsible. Let your curiosity guide you wisely. Thanks for joining us. Stay curious, stay informed, and stay safe out there.